As that tropical system threatens to possibly cause severe weather in our area this week, elections officials are taking steps to make sure everyone's voice is heard this election day, regardless of the elements. Our Steve King joins us live from a polling location in Palm Beach Gardens. And Steve, what do elections officials say voters need to know? Jade, well, the supervisor of elections says that with the possibility of severe weather this week, the staff is taking steps to make sure that everyone's going to be able to cast their ballot no matter what the weather brings. And here today at the Gardens Branch Library, several people took advantage of the last day of early voting, especially with that weather on its way. Leo Whitepick usually votes on Election Day, but due to the possibility of severe weather, she voted early this time. I kind of like the vibe and the feel and knowing, like seeing democracy really happen in all the masses. But because of the weather, I just want to make sure that my vote counts and that it happens. So I had fun. But for people looking to vote early in person this Tuesday, the supervisor of elections says there are a few things to keep in mind, including knowing your specific polling location. We don't want anybody to go stand in the rain and only to learn that they went to the wrong location. So I'm really encouraging everybody, please check your polling location before you go vote on Tuesday. Sartori Link says staff is ready for whatever the storm brings. She says the only thing that would close a polling station is if the weather is too dangerous, people cannot get to a polling location due to an obstruction in the roadway, the location is flooded or the power is out for an extended period of time. She says if that happens, voters will be able to vote at a nearby location and there would be signs set up and staff members at the closed location would direct voters where to go. We would move it as necessary. We don't anticipate that happening, though, so we expect people should be able to go to their polling location on Tuesday. She says if the power goes out for a short time, the tabulators will be able to stay on and keep counting ballots. But right now, Sartori Link says the most important thing for Election Day voters to do is make sure they know where they're going Tuesday and bring their ID with their picture and signature. And to find your voting precinct, you can visit our website, WPBF.com. Reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.